But anyway, uh, Hello the Living Dead. I turned it on. The credits made it very apparent it's, it's Italian. And I caught it right away. Because if you are a fan of B-movies like I am, anybody who's a fan of, of B-movies and just watches B-movies, you recognize immediately when it's Italian. Because you get the really loud music in the beginning. And you get kind of a, like a weird synthesized thing. This, this movie had like a Pink Floyd, like a almost Pink Floyd song going on the whole time. Which is kind of ironic because I'm wearing a Pink Floyd sweatshirt. But... This is 1980. The year previous, uh, The Wall came out in 1979. And this has the... Uh, so similar. So similar. You gotta run, 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 run. It's the same fucking beat for the whole movie. It's Italian as fuck. You got your Italians. Where do I begin with Italian movies? They're they're not terrible. They're interesting at the very least. I didn't like this movie at all, but at least it was interesting. Some of it I'm like, wow, this is cool the way they're doing this, but I have no idea what's happening. Italian movies are incomprehensible. The storylines don't necessarily tie in together. It's just kind of a drifting. It's always like four people. They go and do this, and then we cut to these five people over here, and they're dicks, or they're, they're rapists, or something. And then they kind of do their thing, and they die. And you're like, back to these other four. And I'm like... Oh, we're, we're. I feel like a child lost in a public space. like But like something safe-ish, like a family reunion, where it's kind of like, I'm with my mom, with my, oh, oh, oh aunt's, aunt's taking me over here. Oh, this guy's taking me over here in the bathroom. Please help me, please help me. Okay, dad, grab me. Okay, great. And you're kind of like... You just kind of drift from room to room, really not having any frame of reference because you're you're a child. You just kind of you're there. You don't know why you're there. You don't know what this is all about. What this room full of people is doing? No idea. But people, you kind of just trust the filmmakers that just take you from room to room, and you're like, yeah. and then eventually at the end of the movie, I was like, oh, this is cool. The last like ten minutes was really cool. I couldn't tell you what it was about. A zombie outbreak at some sort of weird factory. And then uh, there's, there's some characters, and we don't see them again. Oh, Italians, what do they do? What do they do in their movies? The story just had nothing going for it. Like, Italians do not hire people to write their stories. So it's just like, I feel like they're just out there just like running and gunning Robert Rodriguez style. Only Robert Rodriguez writes his fucking movies. Where they're kind of like, all right, get this scene. All right, get this scene. Do this tie together? No, tie it. Tie together? What the fuck does that mean? Anyway, moving on. Let's get this scene. Oh, who's this guy? I don't know. She just walked in the frame. She's in my movie now. You're in my movie, yes. And, and, and then we're going to follow her the rest of the movie because she's our new character, I guess. I, that's how Italians make movies. I don't, I don't understand it. I don't speak Italian. This movie's in English. They dubbed over very, very badly, but better than a lot of Italian movies, I'll say. I've seen dozens of Italian movies. Usually they don't dub over this well. And this isn't like Sergio Leone quality. Like, Sergio Leone is a master filmmaker. So one of my favorite filmmakers is Italian, so... I'm not making fun of their total cinematic culture, but their B movies are just like so confusing. I have no idea what's happening. Cause they suddenly pounce on her, rip out her fucking tongue. Someone forces their fists into her mouth and makes her fucking eyeballs literally pop out of her skull. And this is what you could tell, like someone had some fucking fun in this movie. Like one of the guys, one of the special effects guys just had a fucking ball. It was like, I'm going for it. I am fucking doing it. And the rest of the, the writers like doing, doing what? I didn't write anything. Oh, you're doing a thing? Okay, cool. I'll, I'll write that down. <laughs> Jono. Yeah. You guys still making the movie? <laughs> you guys in a movie. And this writer had nothing to fucking do with this movie. And I was like, this is the movie I want to watch. This is where... Oh, it's over. Thank you, Italy. Thank you. As things were getting really, really good and interesting, it's over. Which should leave you like, oh, I want more. Like, leave them wanting more. That's kind of the, the theme of entertainment, but not so much here. Because what I had, I didn't want. And what I wanted, I didn't get. So who wins? Who wins in this scenario? On nights when Dad works late, we'll treat ourselves a bit at Olive Garden. Ooh, breadsticks. It's a chance for us to catch up. So, is this uh, serious? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Olive Garden when you're here. We'll treat ourselves. Mm, mm, mm. 
breadsticks. So is this uh, serious? 